Hi, when Ria asked me to do a video talking about what International Women's Day means to me, I said yes straight away. But then I thought, what does it actually mean to me? In all honesty, I've never paid much attention to International Women's Day. We used to host events for Girls Gone International in our wine bar, but other than that, the day was never particularly on my radar. So instead of focusing on what the actual day means, I thought about my own personal experiences growing up as a female. From an early age I've experienced objectification, discrimination, gender inequality and abuse of power in one form or another. The cat calling and wolf whistles as I walked to school. The art college professor telling me my smile got me my place instead of my ability. A male masseur being a little too exploratory with his hands. Being followed by a couple of intimidating men and a relationship that reduced my self-esteem to zero. And also a job interview where the interviewer actually asked me at the age of 26 whether I plan to get married and have children anytime soon. I'm now 51 years old. I'm not married and I have no children, by choice. I've found my soulmate in Ivan, but I don't need a piece of paper to prove it. We've both agreed that if we need to get married for practical reasons, then so be it but neither of us are chomping at the bit to do so. For some reason, so many people have, have had trouble understanding both choices, men and women. I've lost count of the amount of times I've been asked, when are you going to settle down and get married? When are you going to have children? Having said all of this, I do consider myself very lucky. Discrimination, objectification, abuse of power and gender inequality occur on a daily basis all over the world and my experiences pale in comparison with what some women have had to deal with and are still dealing with today. When I think about my career, I've been lucky. I haven't suffered discrimination at work. And it's interesting to note that the majority of my bosses have actually been strong, independent and open-minded females who didn't mince their words, so you knew exactly where you stood with them. Would it have been any different if they were male? Who knows? Today, when I think about whether there have been significant changes in the way society treats women, I would say yes and no. We've seen much more raised awareness and campaigns, particularly with the Me Too campaign and the most recent Be A Lady video. There have been moves towards equal pay and gender female empowerment, but for me, one thing I still have a problem with is the fact that sex still sells. When are women going to stop being objectified or objectifying themselves? The number of times I see women influencers on social media using their body to sell a product, an idea or a service, and it's mind-blowing. It makes me feel incredibly sad. We have become a generation of vain, selfie-obsessed, publicity-hungry creatures, and this makes me uncomfortable, because it feels like we're moving backwards when I see so much of this behaviour. Why not be genuine and real instead? It is far more refreshing, and so much more interesting. Personally, I will use International Women's Day to support, recognise and show admiration for women who have had a pos positive effect on my life and around the world in general. At the end of the day, we're all individuals and we all have something unique to offer the world. So it's time to stop putting us in the same box and tying it up in a pretty pink ribbon.